Yes, okay. I suppose I should give you all some sort of reward. She goes into her desk and she pulls out um, a small bag. She opens it up. It has... I actually don't have the exact description for it, but I'll just type what it is. We'll worry about that later. She pulls out an MK1 Ring of Resistance. Ooh. Ooh. This was going to be given to Isla Bynes, but given... <laughs> <laughs> he, this 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 was part of his uh, most recent research grant, but I don't think he'll be needing it. So I want you all to have it. <laughs> she flicks it to, uh, I guess, Macadamia, who's in front. I see me catch it. Yeah, she'll... <laughs> with her shitty man. With her, stuff. yeah. Now you manage. Um, uh, Lulu, like, sort of hunches down over Macadamia. I've been meaning to ask, how does one... Wait, hold on. He switches off the telepathy from everyone to just macadamia. I've been considering, how does one actually wear a ring like that when, uh, he motions with one of his, like, long, sort of crooked appendages? They're constructed for humans or some sort of humanoid equivalent. Every single digit is meant to bear a ring, correct? Well, yeah, but hold on. There's an easy solution for us. She, like, kind of tries to stand up on her, like back horrible spindly legs and like it's it on his antenna like on the end of his antenna <laughs> yes this is wonderful the roar across all of the telepathy channels <laughs> i look darling you do Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, the way this ring works, uh, it doesn't give a plus one to all of your resistances. It gives a plus one to your worst resistance, your worst saving throw. Oh, if you have whoa. two that are tied, for example, you just choose which one gets the plus one. Yo, that's awesome. So whoever wants that can just have it. Just add a plus one to your lowest save. Does anyone have a zero in anything? Nope, I think that's impossible. Nope. <laughs> My lowest is three. My lowest is one. <laughs> yeah, let's see who has the lowest everything. Yeah, Taffeta has a one. Um, Nico has a one, or Macadamia has a one in Reflex. So those yeah. are like the worst ones, I think, out of everybody. And Taffeta has a one in Fortitude. Everyone else is pretty good. <laughs> so whoever wants that can just have it. Mm. <laughs> does does Taffy want to be <laughs> Everyone's awkward. Uh, no, you, no, I, I don't. <laughs> I have a one, a two, and a seven. So <laughs> what, what, what's your middle one? Uh, that is, that is her one. No, like, what's hmm. middle, What's your top, next best? Yeah. Oh, there, she's got a one and two fours. Um, okay. Yeah, can I, <laughs> can I take that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, like, goes outside with the, uh, with the ring on one of his, like, spindly antennae. It, like, arcs down. It's, it's like, you know how you'd expect an antennae to be, like, I don't know, malleable? manipulatable this thing is made out of jagged crystal and it extends almost like a fucking car antenna straight down the ring squeaks down it and just plops into your hand this is for you <laughs> hooray an anti-racism gift <laughs> she hugs you Aww. she has been outside and heard none of that no no it wasn't just it wasn't just me or you that cured racism it's thanks to every one of us <laughs> looks at the cameron <laughs> cameron gives a little thumbs up that's gold baby <laughs> Lesson learned. I'm sure. Put that I'm on. sure that everyone else would enjoy one of your patented Tafeta hooks. Hang yeah, I'm not on, sure exactly put where this you ring on. <laughs> I don't know if you like put it in the miscellaneous slot or if you like find the item and then it adds it in for you. I don't know. I'll Maybe. figure it out. Continue. Figure it out later. Anyway, plot. Yes, time for plot. Yes. Um, I was told you all would be meeting me here, but by my assistant. But he didn't say. Uh, what exactly you needed, per se? Oh, uh, we've got a rock that needs translating. Oh, I see. Well, you've definitely come to the right person. Oh, yeah, here. Here's the... I'm assuming Macadamia has it, so she seems to be carrying all Yeah, you all assume, the right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, she looks it over. Hmm... 
I can't. Hmm. She she looks it over. She gets a quizzical look. I know many a language, but this this one. Hmm. She seems to be struggling with it. Was there was there anything else you knew about this, or like do you have any more clues that might be able to help me out a bit? Uh, she looks at us. You <laughs> you all recall that um similar lettering was found in um that Halkim Zahn's. A book that he made. Oh yeah, that is that is true. <laughs> yeah, uh, some Halkim Zahn guy wrote a book about it. Mm. She goes from having a smile to a frown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'm I'm aware of his work. That he. Hmm. How much do you know about him? None. How much? Well, to be. Extraordinarily brief, he is a, um, or he was, this was hundreds of years ago. He was, um, sort of a showboating adventurer type. Think, okay, so like out of context, I'm trying to think, or not out of game, I'm trying to think of like, um, like if Indiana Jones was like a shitty guy and he wasn't all <laughs> in the he was just like, oh, adventure, I will just say this is a thing, even if I don't have a clue what it actually is, but I'm gonna call it this. It's like that. I see. <laughs> All right. Wrong like, Indiana uh, Jones. <laughs> bad. <laughs> like a bad Indiana Jones, where he doesn't do things for the museum. Like but everyone is exactly talking about, like, oh, yeah, Indiana Jones, we know what's up. <laughs> but, um, let's, okay, yeah. His, he, excuse me, if I recall from his stories and such, he visited the continent of Ukulam, which is, as I'm sure you're well aware, a um, nature reserve on this planet, and it's Academia full of runes. <laughs> yeah. Academia would know what's up. Everyone else is just like, yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> this isn't our adventure. <laughs> and, um... While I'm not particularly keen on runes myself, I just study more languages. Uh, there is someone I know who can definitely help you out. Let's see. She she goes to her um, computer. She types in a few things. Um, her name is... Sorry, hold on. Actually, I actually have to make sure I have her name right. Oh, yes. Her name is Dr. Solstarni. She's our sort of ruins expert around here. Um, she should be in her office. Let me give her a ring. She taps a few con things on her console. Um, you hear like a ring ring, like it's like a, like a Skype kind of call going on. Um, it rings for a while, and but there's there's no response. It's like a like a an awkwardly long time for someone not to answer the phone. Hmm. That's bizarre. It like she's in you, her uh, you need us to go check on her or yeah, hmm, yeah, I'm going to, hold on, let me, let me just, let's, hmm, she, uh, some time passes, you notice she's calling other people who might know her, her family, uh, friends, no one seems to know where she is, she, as, as she makes more calls, she gets a little more, uh, worried and frantic look on her face, hmm, well, that is concerning, that, no one knows where she is. Yes, if you could all... Um, hmm. No one's seen her. No one's seen her in days, it seems. Um, here, hold on just a minute. She she ruffles through her desk. Uh, she pulls out, like, a key card. Uh, this will help you get into her office if there's any troubles. I'm, I'm going to call the local authorities, and um, I'm going to... Hopefully I'm not overreacting, but I'm going to file a missing persons report. Um... So I'll I'll join you all shortly. She picks up the phone again and starts doing all that. You have gained a key. Mm. <laughs> it's a key card key. Do, do, do. Nice. Oh, that's not worrisome at all. <laughs> nope. Isaiah begins prepping his gun preemptively. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, where are we headed? All right. So you do that. Uh, you go to the only other black space on this board. Um. <laughs> Because, like I said before, this is all, like, on different floors of the building, but I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you're all kind of coming down here. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
but for all, it's, all intents and purposes, it's all in the same hallway. Right. Taffy has just been zoning out for the past five minutes, repeatedly trying and somehow failing to put a ring on any of her fingers. <laughs> because I found the correct spot for it and it doesn't update, which oh. it, doesn't, it doesn't work, so I'll just have to remember. Uh, Lulu is just like, it's sort of like doddering over her worried. <laughs> She's just putting the ring on like, like the donut side and not hold, bumping it into the end of her many, many fingers over and over again, like a child with no object permanence or she basic needs, memory. Oh, she needs to do this for herself. She needs to do this for herself. She needs to do this for herself. <laughs> He's like holding himself back as best he can. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's okay, guys. Figure it out. <laughs> I believe in her. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah wonders for a moment how Taffeta became a member of the Starfinder Society, then finds his answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Macadamia. <laughs> okay, I assume you guys just go and open the door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Oh. Is that fitting music? I guess this is fitting enough music. Oh. This office is in disarray, with cabinet doors ajar, several stone artifacts scattered across the floor from open archival drawers, and a traveling bag open and half-packed. The computer on the desk at the far end of the room is dark, but a diode on its face blinks regularly. Hmm. This music's perfect, oh. thank you. She must have got real mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really think that's what happened. Ah, uh, this this university has very very bad security. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We did walk in and wave a gun around, and we have not been removed from the premises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we did do that, didn't we? Sure did! That's a generous use of we. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, hmm. Should we look around? We should definitely look yeah, around. Yeah, if you wanna, um... <laughs> can I, can I use my skills as a bounty hunter in place of a perception check? I'm yeah, gonna use on. my perception in place of reception. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Use your words. I don't know how to whisper, and uh, oh. I always forget how to whisper and roll. Uh, could you just send me the uh, la layer to back so uh, I'm under everybody else, so I'm not if... absorbing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you, you. you want to whisper, you type um, this... slash, slash W space and then start typing the player's name. So if you wanted to whisper to J, you'd type an L for Lulu, and it should yeah. autofill. Oh, uh, cool. But, don't type too much, because if you go over, like, two <clears throat> lines, it usually, like, sends it in two messages, where half is a whisper and the other is public. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fantastic! I found yeah, that out the hard way. As long as it's under, like, three sentences, you're good. Yeah. If not, just do it multiple times until you got it right. right. Yeah, um, if you guys want to, like, you know, um, investigate anything, uh, give me perception checks, or... What were you going to I do, Isaiah, did. instead? Uh, bounty hunter, because this looks like this wasn't a particularly friendly scenario, so I think my skills as a bounty hunter probably apply here. Uh, Macadamia yeah. is helping. I'll Everyone say, yeah, but it'll be. Too. I'll say it's a higher D. I'll say it's a higher DC for you to like. But yeah, you can do That's that. That's fine. In that case, mm. I got a twenty-two. <laughs> well, it's not a competition. <laughs> <laughs> Macadamia is helping. <laughs> We all got some good. All right, so you all helping pretty good anyway. So this is something. Yeah, you all did. You all got good rolls. Good job. <laughs> um, nice. So yeah, you all are able to like easily figure this out. Um. So as you're looking around, you see a few things. You see. Um. I will link this because it's technically loot. Give me just a sec. Technically loot. The best kind. <laughs> yeah. Almost. You're okay copying and pasting from fucking Google Docs. Here we go. Oh, uh, you find this. You find hanging from one of the cabinets. Uh, you can tell it looked like it was like about to be put on or like it was hanging out to be worn. Uh, but that's not the case. You find Dr. Solstarni Solstarni's, fuck, uh, Lushunta basic temp weave suit. It's light armor. It's worth about 2,000 credits. Plus 4 AAC, plus 4 KAC. So on and so forth. That sounds pretty good. That sounds hey. pretty good. 
Can you um, only wear it if you're a Lashunta? Um, technically, yeah, but I would just let you do it. I mean, we have a Lashunta. That's yeah. not really a problem. Oh, yeah, my that's shit's one. better than that. Yeah, I was, <laughs> gonna say, I was gonna say, Amir's stuff is probably better. My shit's um, worlds worse than that. <laughs> I mean, we could probably figure out how to fix it later, but for now, you probably do. <laughs> yeah, goddamn, your shit's better than that, Majin. Did you just buy new armor? I did buy new armor. Okay, yep. I was gonna Everybody say. Everybody went shopping. Because <laughs> I was sick of getting my ass kicked. Stop <laughs> dying! Fuck! Imagine. Sounds like a, sounds okay. like Amir is sick. <laughs> she begins patting him on the back. She stuffs a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> I only did that once. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, so, sorry. So you are all looking over various things. Uh, so we'll say that like um, Amir and Taffa over here notice the outfit. Um, Isaiah, as you're looking around, you use your, like, bounty hunter knowledge. You look at, um, some of the carbon, uh, fiber cabinets, uh, over up here. It's wood, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna say it's carbon fiber. Right. Uh, you can see that there's a big dent in it, uh, telling you that there was some sort of fight in this room, for sure. <laughs> like, whatever happened, someone got hurt. Um, uh, Macadamia, you're looking on the desk. Um, you find, um... Lots of, like, study papers, nothing especially sticks out. 500 credits. No. <laughs> you find all of the money in the universe. You loot her office. Wow, a million, office. a million dollars and you can be as racist as you want. We should okay. have been professors. <laughs> Everyone looks at the camera. All right. Uh, you this also find um, something of note. You find... Um, a letter. It looks like an invitation to a place called the Five Arches. It's from a guy with a very strange name. That's why it stands out to you. His name is... Ooh, I don't even know if I can pronounce this. Let me type it out first. His name is Arub Paqual. Hmm. I, I read that immediately as Arub! <laughs> um, Aru. Lulu, uh, you Aru. and Cameron are also looking around. Um, you find... Uh, you, so amongst all of, like, the papers and stuff, some of it got on the floor, you notice some of them are marked in, like, a red. Uh, as in, like, this is important red. Like, circle this, check mark this. Um, after picking it up and letting Macadamia look it over, you find that these are notes from Halkim Zahn's notebooks. Uh, it looks like Dr. Sol Sterney was also looking into some of the stuff, uh, he did way back when. I will show you. Uh, the important things from his notes. Give me a sec. I just have to make it so you all can see it. Huh. Did it pop up? It did yeah. pop up. Yeah. Oof. So these are notes from Hakim Zahn's notes. Uh, he made a big book about how he went into the forsaken jungle and found the ruins and there was natives and awful, you know, like that kind of thing. Uh, awful monsters and all kinds of stuff, and uh, these are like the mo like the more important things in that. More or less, like kind of like the, the the route he took. He went to the Rune Obelisk, and then the Plague Warden, and then the Forsaken City, and then the you know so on and so forth. You're able to piece together that it's like a map. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is a lot of words. <laughs> that is a lot of words. So I'm like, interested in particular of the stairway to eternity. I wonder what that is. Is it some sort of everlasting staircase? <laughs> no one touches that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell you. But... I've been skipping leg day for, for decades. I wish to work out on the staircase of eternity. Shouldn't every day be like day for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. Hmm. I can electromagnetically propel myself through the air. So <laughs> Lulu does so. <laughs> there was some no fancy is like day. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fancy party thing, like the five arches or whatever. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, she. So it's not like a party. It was just like an invitation. Like, meet me here discreetly. Kind of. That's probably. Oh, kind of thing. Yeah, we probably have to and go there on her behalf. 
Is there anything else you guys want to look at? There is. Pretty Does sure anyone... she got assassinated. Does anyone want that armor? Cause not to sound like a basic bitch two times in a row. That's out of universe. <laughs> but I could really use yeah. some armor. <laughs> How good have... is your armor? <laughs> My ACs are 12 and 13. I mean, yeah, I'll just say you can just wear that. I mean, well, it's, it's the future, so like the the suit can just. Well, I, Isaiah, what are you at? Uh, better than that. Okay. Max at 11 and 12. Oh, you so... should take it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> it sure is. Hmm? No, my 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 ACs are fifteen and sixteen. Like, take it. Oh shit! Yeah, you can just have it. We'll say it's like the future. Like you put it on and it like conforms to your shape. No big deal. Fancy bug. Yeah, all yours. Yeah. So yeah, you just you just you can just put that on. If you go into the character sheet, you should be able to yeah. find it. That's yeah. okay. I have the best armor of all. That can scan. So I'm just gonna. I don't think so. I meant friendship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So just just throwing this out out here. There looked like there looks like there was a gigantic scuffle in here, and nobody came to investigate before we did. No. Are there any? I mean, are there any laser marks or other uh, other signs of damage? Uh, you don't find any, like, gunfire. There's yeah. no, like, scorch marks on the ground or the walls no or ceiling. No scorch marks. It looks like everything was fucking knocked over. <laughs> they came in, broke everything, then dragged her out, kicking and screaming, and nobody cared. <laughs> 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 All right, so as you guys do that, I'm going to have a cutscene happen. Ooh, okay. Uh, so you see Professor Muhali, uh, she comes back in. Um, she looks, like, exasperated, like she like she had to run all the way here. Uh, all the way here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way. I mean, realistically, she went up some flights of stairs or something. <laughs> uh, she comes in to see uh, what you all have already seen, what you all already know, and her heart sinks a little bit. Oh, 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 goodness. You can tell she's, like, really distraught. She kind of goes around, and uh, she looks over on the desk, and she finds something you all missed. She looks at, um, she kind of rifles through the papers, and she finds a picture of her and Dr. Solstarny together, and <laughs> it, it's like, it's like a glass, like, portrait, and it's, like, broken, and she gets real upset. Oh, no, symbolism like that's usually not not trivial. Uh... Has she been talking about <laughs> quitting smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> all right. Um, she she like barely even reacts. Like she's off in her own world. It's like no. That's I mean, the she, right she amount of never, reaction. I mean, she was never <laughs> a smoker. Hmm. Well, as after I called the police, uh, they should arrive shortly. I did a little more digging and I found some things out myself. I looked through some of her. Um, what's it called? Not, not like transcripts. I guess that's the word I'll use. I looked through some of our transcripts, and it seems she left on a trip to Ukalam a few days ago, and it says that I authorized it, but, I mean, I, I didn't. So, I don't know mm. what... So that's that's very worrisome. Were you all able to find out anything? Uh, e not much. <laughs> she was going to meet someone at something like the Five Arches. <laughs> hmm. Drops her cup. Oh, I apologize, <laughs> I kicked something over. Yeah, let's just look around and see what we can find. <laughs> I found the cup! Oh, I, I keep doing it! I love that sound, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> That's a good sound. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. We were um, going to go to the Five Arches to perhaps investigate. Yeah, you guys um, found out that she was supposed to meet with someone uh, there at some point. You're not sure if she actually did or not, but um, it might it might lead you. You uh, appear to, to have been that. close with her. Do you want us to report back on our findings? Yes, that would. That would mean a lot. She's, well, we'll say she's a very good friend of mine. 
But what, what, yeah, They're yeah, cousins, but... guys. Man, we, we are getting so many bits because this is sad as hell. <laughs> you guys, I'm crying. She is crying. Well, I've been moved right. emotionally. <laughs> she just is said. crying. She is crying. Uh, just as you guys are about to formulate your plan, um, you you feel this before you see him. The door creaks open, and you see what looks to be a very somber, sad detective robot. <laughs> he comes in. Isaiah feels like he... his flavor is being chomped yet again. <laughs> <laughs> he he scans the room. <laughs> he scans the room. He like. All he's right, like, get he's... it. <laughs> <laughs> get him. No. He looks pet. He, he looks at you all. Hmm. I see the party's all here. You can call me, if I can get his thing to show, you can call me <laughs> Copper Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can't see because everyone else's names are in the way, but that's my name. It's Copper Jones. <laughs> yeah, it's Copper Jones. I'm a detective who lives on the edge. They sent me because I'm the only one who can get things done uh -huh. in this terrible city. Wait, who sent you? The police did. What? How did they know about right. this? The professor because called professor it. Holly called them. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it'd been yeah. that long. Taffeta is the one that it's called the police. It's been enough time. I mean, the police. <laughs> she, she puts <laughs> shot of her shooting Hannibal Burris. Who called the police? <laughs> Hides all the drugs. <laughs> so, what have you all been able to figure out? Uh, we relay what we've been able to figure yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. The five arches. That's a that's a dirty place. <laughs> the two bugs are just like fascinating. <laughs> Isaiah starts like physically pushing you guys away, just like for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's like he, he he goes on with like his Batman monologue. He doesn't even notice you. <laughs> you know, how, like. In like a Bethesda game, how NPCs will continue talking to you even if they're being attacked while they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are just like bumping him and he's just falling over while not registering it at all. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Alright, so... So as, as he's about to relay of what he... <laughs> he knows. <laughs> uh, uh, Excuse me. I remember playing with one of you when I was a kid. Uh, another robot comes in. Hey, waka waka, who wants to get uh, 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 Isaiah starts jabbing Funny Pot with his gun to get him out. Nope. Who wants to hear a robot joke? You're getting out of here. If you if you say one racist thing, I'm blowing your head off. <laughs> Immediately switch he, he comes in, Copper Jones. <laughs> Copper Jones sighs. Ugh, this is my partner, Funny Bot. I put him with me to soften my This, 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 they said it was too hardcore, so they stuck me with this, this pile of junk. All right, it's time for robot jokes. Uh -uh. Why was the robot angry? Because you're yeah, in my yeah. face. That's <laughs> <laughs> so it continues, Jeff. <laughs> Give me a reason. Give me a reason not to Would shoot. Would you like him. to hear another robot joke? Just oh. in the in the background, pats on the back. I'm so sorry about this very serious disappearance of your friend. Man, our view account is plumbing. Get rid of forty bucks. <laughs> Getting rid of him. What do you get? A tractor. A transformer. Get him. <laughs> Out the door and closes it. Oh, that guy. I don't know why they put him with me. He's not even a detective. No really? You he's... hear Funny Bot saying more jokes behind the door, but you can't really make out what he's saying anymore. Like, <laughs> don't worry, I'm great at hearing jokes. I'll keep him occupied. Uh, there, Cameron's our Cameron, B plot. Cameron looks at Lulu. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta show the fans what they want. If they want more funny, but not Copper Jones. Copper <laughs> Jones is last. Oh, I was, I was entirely just taking Tappy out of there. <laughs> yeah, once, once funny, but gets forcibly removed from, uh, from the room. I say, I say, just goes. Uh, all right, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assure about what we do not see. Hebrews one of one eleven, please tell us something important. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Jones pulls out a cigarette and he like goes through it in one drag, like one hard drag. The cigarette's gone. He tosses the butt to the side. He breathes the smoke out. It lingers in the air. Isaiah stares at that cigarette butt. This is a fucking crime scene. <laughs> As Cobra Jones has said before, he lives on the edge. Of being like fired. <laughs> they wouldn't fire me. I'm too big of an asset. Without me, lots of murders. Be getting away with it. Heard it through the door! <laughs> <laughs> you all hear a distant firing sound, but ignore it, I guess. <laughs> We're used to it. On my way up, I spoke with the receptionist. He was able to get me to look at some of the cameras. He points to various cameras in the room to uh, show off what happened, and turns out your professor's been Professor Napped. He pulls out another cigarette and lights it up. <laughs> Yeah. I yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry. Who has done it? <laughs> well. Who done? They were pretty good at covering their tracks. They did that trick you see in the movies where they like loop the security footage, so you don't actually see anything. But I knew where to look. I was able to figure it out. And I saw there were some guys who were part of a nasty gang. A nasty gang that hangs at the Five Arches. They're called the Cabaret Smugglers. I'll give you a hint as to what they do. They smuggle. Girls. <laughs> they smuggle. They smuggle crime into this city, and I'm not gonna have any of it. They, they but... smuggle crime. Yes. They <laughs> smuggle. Criminals <laughs> in boxes. <laughs> How do you quantify crime? How do you physically hold it? In boxes, evidently. <laughs> you just tag criminals and let them loose. <laughs> I've been trying to get them for months. I know where they can kind of hang out, but I feel like we might be able to bust them. But it's going to take a lot more than me, one lone detective, and a funny bot to take them down. I'm going to need your help. I think we'll trade funny... five of us for one funny bot. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a deal. He <laughs> drags funny bot back in and starts telling robot jokes to Professor Muhali. Let's see how good his jokes are. <laughs> Oh, oh, 17. Shit. Ah. He, you know, he, it takes a little while, but he gets Professor Muhali to get a smile across her face. Maybe everything will be all right after all, thanks to Funny Bot. Yeah, I'm not listening <laughs> to that garbage. You guys want to hear a joke that Funny Bot told me? Isaiah contemplates shooting himself. <laughs> I was here for it, but I'd love to hear it again. Hooray, <laughs> an encore. Why do the two robots- Anir, say words at me! <laughs> I'm <laughs> begging you! <laughs> My name's <laughs> Anir Cow, I say! <laughs> Anyways, time for that joke. Yeah, just even louder. <laughs> Why did the robots like going on dates in the rain? Uh, Why is that? Because when it's raining, it's rust the two of them! <laughs> and then just falls over sparking. <laughs> Pull the dead trigger, silent. Isaiah. <laughs> Lulu is just dead silent, picks up Tafeta, places her on his head. That was a very good joke. <laughs> Thanks, it was funny, bots. <laughs> As you all leave, you hear more jokes from Funny Bot. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? Heavy metal! Ah, 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 you see I Copper Jones down. step on it before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, so like that sound effect reminds me of like the uh what is it, the wood plank in like anime like <laughs> yeah. yeah it's pretty sick i'm just dropping an empty tin of peanuts <laughs> <laughs> professor mohali is like oh oh well, all right she <laughs> comes back out um let me know what you all find as soon as possible and thank you again she bows respectfully I'm going to go back to my office and see what more I can get done. She does that. Goblin Jones comes with you. <laughs>